Hello everyone, Chad Mancini here. Okay, so I am doing level three of the basic missions challenges on Hack This Site. So if you've been following my last couple of videos, I am doing some videos on walkthroughs of Hack This Site for anyone who gets stuck on any of the missions. Um, so, mission three, or level three. This time, Network Security Sam remembered to upload the password file, but there, was, there were deeper problems than that. Okay, so last time, Network Security Sam forgot to upload the password file. So, um, with not having a password file, null, meaning nothing in this text box, would equal to true, and that would allow us in. But now with the password file, if I hit submit, uh-oh, can't get in. So, what we're going to have to do is take a deeper look into um, Network Security Sam's uh, source code. Okay, so when we hit view source and come down here, we're going to see that, okay, Network Security Sam has a password.php file, presumably where the password um, from, where the string from this text box gets sent to, and that is the case. So we have form action, we have a post method that is posting to password.php. So I'd like to see what happens if I go to password.php. Well, network security Sam should be fired because number one, he has a password file with a hard-coded unencrypted key that is sending output to the browser. So any attacker like myself right now can browse directly to that site, password.php, sorry, not the site, the, the file, password.php. So there's a lot of failures here. Number one, let's say for God knows what reason you wanted a hard-coded unencrypted file. You could have used a .hc access file to prevent access to from from the browser to actually come to this file. You could have just said forbidden or or um, lo locked it as 404. Um, but the true issue here is that the fact that it's actually sending output to the browser. So if I type in that password, hit submit. What happens is, is that that post action that we saw in the code says, okay, let's take the input string, okay, from the password field, from the input type hidden and here, let's send it to the password.php file. So password.php file then uh, with in the backend PHP will can, um, it will then compare the input from what's in the file. And then if it's true, which in this case it is, it lets you through. So I hope that issue, sorry, I hope that uh, walkthrough was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit my website, sean at sean uh, sorry, seancini.com. Talk to you guys later.